We do have um, two very uh, exciting guests um, who I've had on the show before. But before I introduce them to you, um, let's have a, a little watch of a clip that we've put together for them. And you'll know who I'm talking about. And afterwards, I can't wait to speak to them. Good afternoon. Wa alaikum salam. My gosh. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> How are you both? We're good. Thank you. How are you? Good. I loved watching that clip. You know, it's just Thank so you. beautiful, you know. Um, and you guys, you have done so incredibly well um, with your with your YouTube, with Facebook and, and things like that. I mean, and it's still going strong. How, I mean, how are you guys finding it? Thank you so much. Thank you. It's yeah. very kind. Yeah, we're, we're loving it, actually. We're having such a great time, especially in this pandemic where you really don't have much to do apart from work. So to be able to interact with the people. wide <laughs> range of people, you know, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Well, you, you have fans all over the world, you know, and I think that's a beautiful thing. I think you've got, um, you're connecting with people um, from everywhere. It's, it's beautiful. Um, before we go on to your love story, um, I want to know what you guys have been up to today. Um, did you guys surprise each other with anything, you know, Valentine's, you know, specific? What was I up to today, Maria? Yeah, well, he actually surprised me. Um, we decided not to do anything at all for Valentine's Day, um, especially because we don't really do much. But he decided to prepare an afternoon tea for me from scratch. So oh, lovely. Shara, that's amazing. What did you do, Shara? Thank you. Yeah, so I started planning this four or five days ago. So you know, all the way from making sure that the afternoon tea was actually presented on those Three layers, oh, balloons. The three tier plates. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Absolutely, balloons and hearts and everything, chocolates, you name it. Oh, the and the biggest thing. This was the biggest thing for me because I'm really bad at giving gifts. But I went through her her <laughs> makeup, makeup bag, bag. <laughs> and I saw these Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So I ordered a bunch of those for her, and she loved it. Oh, yeah. lovely! It was amazing. Yeah. And and Maria in Bangla. How did you feel after this? Onik kushi, onik kushi. Amar shami, onik shundor ar. Oh my! Wow! Oh my! Wow! 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 I think she said it really well um, and and fantastic. Do you know what? I I love it. I love that you've learnt Bangla so well. Um, and how's your learning, Sharwar, going? It's not going as well as hers, but you know, I can't say certain things like thank you, mm. hi, he's doing well, he's you doing know, well. good night. I definitely know how to say good night because whenever she's talking to her family, she says good night. So I'm like, oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. No, one of the things that, um, uh, one of the things that I've seen um, on some of your interviews that you've done and, and videos you've done is that you guys say that you never argue. Is that right? Yeah, we have very, very rarely do we have like arguments. I, I guess we don't really let it get to the yeah. arguing stage. Because obviously you would have difference of opinion in of anything, course. you know, sometimes you'd, you'd be talking about something and she'd have a different opinion to, to mine. But we figured out how to how to resolve it without an argument, right? Yeah. yeah. So what happens is whenever we feel like you know, I say like, oh, no, but I think it's like this, and she goes, oh, but I think it's like that. 
and then we just they're like let's change the subject let's you know we just change the subject or she's just sitting there let's agree you know. to disagree yeah <laughs> five minutes later we just hug each other it's all sorted oh that's lovely and um so let's talk about your love story you know because one of the beautiful things about your marriage is the the bringing together of of two cultures yeah um we met through a mutual friend yeah, we exchanged numbers and then we started talking and we basically met right away and after, she just after fell that. in love with me head over <laughs> heels you know you know how it goes no so um yeah so, that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we started talking to each other and you know we really did feel a connection straight away i know it's a cliche but we really did we you know, we, yeah. we there was a point where we were obviously we were both working, but we'd text each other till midnight, yeah. one a.m., two two a.m. to to the point where I was struggling to wake up early enough to go to work. <laughs> we just didn't want to stop talking to each other. So I think there were very early signs. Yeah. Um, and then as we started to get to know each other more and more, you know, you just we discovered how similar we yeah. are. We have same values, same morals. Yeah, we like doing the same things. We both love chocolate, you know, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> I think we complement each other really well. I think that's yeah. probably the main aspect. I think we we realized that as we spent more and more time mm -hmm. with each other, we really realized that, okay, this is what we have. Touch wood might be quite rare. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, when did you know that was it? Like, let's get married. Where, you know, was there a, a moment or was it because you guys both had, you know, a good friendship and... Uh, you just knew. I, when did you know? I don't know this. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> I think that's uh, very correct what you said. It's because we have um, this very close relationship and we were more friends with each other than anything else. And because we've been able to build this, I think, you know, it's very rare to be friends and lovers and also be on such an intimate level. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think for me, it's probably very similar as we spend more and more time with each other. I just, it just felt right. You know, you can't really, I, I don't think I'd be able to pinpoint an exact moment as to when I knew, Oh, she was the one, you know how they say it probably happens in movies more, but for us, I think we were, you know, at gradually, we just, we just kept on feeling that, you know, we really do belong with each other. Yeah. And, uh, Obviously, when I, when I saw her for the first time, I loved her eyes. I, I just thought she had the prettiest eyes. So, Aww. but obviously, that's just a superficial reason. But you know, I think <laughs> it's just I think I think she has a very kind heart. Um, the way she interacts with everyone, everyone, whether it's my family, friends, I always feel so proud of her. So I think I, I wanted that always in my life. And and in your view, um, you know, it sounds like obviously Maria, you have really. Um, uh, really taken on the the Bangladeshi culture and, and, and things like that. Was it difficult at, at any point or was it as easy as it looks what we see on screen? Not at all. I mean, this is because I was very curious to understand what he's saying. Um, just those little things that you have in your native language expressions or I don't know what I, I wanted to be able to understand that. So for me, it came naturally to want to know that and to speak that and i was just i kept asking him how do you say this how do you say that and in no time it just happened for me to speak or to understand yeah. what he was talking on the phone with amor <laughs> so you're saying it came easy then Is yeah it saying? came very easy yeah yeah i think so and she would ask a lot whenever i speak to my mom you know she'd say oh you know what are you saying she really did put an effort in and you could see that she's she was genuinely curious yeah like maria and really right even looking back on yeah. our old videos i can realize how much i've i've uh, improved <laughs> in bangla I'm like wow was that just a few months ago i speak so much better now so yeah it's just yeah yeah i think I was one of the things i noticed about both of you is that the the people that follow you they love you both so much you know like sometimes when i go through social media and just watch things i i sometimes see negative comments you know that people write but with you guys i don't know what it is but they so much love for you both yeah we're, we're so we're so grateful yeah, for that we're grateful. so grateful yeah. um you know we are so thankful to them because i think that's just something that just happened. Mm. We we didn't anticipate that. No. We didn't expect it, but we really, really appreciate it, and that's why we 
that's probably why we continued making videos because you know initially it was a hobby you know we were in a lockdown we both have full-time jobs we're just putting a few videos out there but now we we feel like we owe it to them to carry on making videos so yeah we're just so grateful yeah. i think we just because we're our authentic self that's exactly. probably what it is you know we're yeah. just this is how we are you know? and what do you think is the recipe for a successful happy marriage <laughs> We'll, we'll tell you that 25 years later. <laughs> but in terms of, yes, we, we're, very, we're very blessed, Alhamdulillah. I think we have a very, very, very solid relationship. Um, I mean, for me, it's probably, uh, well, two things. You, Maria is my best friend. She's my best ever friend. I say, I can say anything and everything to her without feeling that she's going to judge me. So, you know, complete trust in your partner. That's, that's for me. I don't know yeah. what you'd say. Yeah, well, it's same friendship basically, and and making each other laugh. I think that's very yeah. important because we always have such a good time together. That's true. We, yeah. we don't really need to. Especially in this lockdown, now yeah. you know we've been with each other twenty four hours a day, yeah. more than a year. You know, yeah. we're both working from home, yeah. so yeah, I think that definitely helps. Being oh, funny. that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, do you know one of the things that I, I love is when I see like people like our parents, and you see how much and what they've gone through over time, and they're still strong and they're still happy. And I think we owe a lot to our parents as well, isn't it? You know, like how we treat other people also comes from what we've seen growing up. Oh, one hundred percent. I mean. My, my mom and dad, they're like the Romeo and Juliet of Bangladesh. There is, they have the most unbelievable love story. And I've witnessed, really? it, I've witnessed it firsthand. So a lot of what I do probably just comes from my dad. And, you know, my mom, my dad is like really calm. And whereas my mom is a bit, you know what girls are like. Sometimes they get angry. Oh. So, you know, me and Maria, we're, we're just like that. I'm the calm one. And then... <laughs> We compliment each other well, but yeah, I agree. Like, right? Yeah. Say that. <laughs> Would you say you guys are opposites to each other? Uh, Will we? Well, he's very active. I'm not so active in terms of that. Yes, but I think otherwise. Yeah, we very have similar. Yeah, we have a lot of similarities, but we also yeah. like, for example, you know, in this pandemic, I would love to go for a walk every day. <laughs> Maria doesn't want, she's like, oh, no, it's too cold. I don't want to go for a walk. <laughs> but the important things we're very similar in. I think that's what matters. It's the values, right? Yeah. How you how you live your life, the, the kind of code of life, you know, are similar. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We're completely 100% on that. Yeah. Totally. Agree yeah. the time. <laughs> well, guys, look, we've, we've run out of time, but I love you both. I think you're wonderful. I feel like you guys give so much positive energy um, when you do your videos. And I, I think it's, it's great that we have you um, in our community sharing um, such such good things, you know, that all the good news, all the things that you do, I think it's wonderful. So thank you both thank you for so joining much. me yeah. today. Thank you so much and, for having us. And I can't wait to have you guys on the show again soon. <laughs> thank have you. a wonderful, um, have a wonderful afternoon and I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Um, next up, we have um, Ekticella and you'll see them in this as well so um let's watch that um and then i'll see you guys in a bit